This is Brain Health Week. So every day I'm coming to you live with a brain health tip. So today's brain health tip to promote brain health in older adults and reduce the risk of cognitive decline and dementia is to get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And these tips are specific for older adults, though younger people can use them too. So sleep is vital to brain health and cognitive function. And sleeping seven to eight hours a night is related to better brain health and physical health in older adults. So these are people 65 and older. So when people have chronic inadequate sleep, they're at higher risk uh, for dementia and heart disease and depression and obesity and diabetes and fall related injuries and cancer. So the bottom line, the take home message is get seven to eight hours of sleep a night consistently. So what helps older adults to get seven to eight hours of sleep a night? So one is having a regular sleep-wake cycle. And so this is related to better sleep health. So what does that mean? That means that you go to bed around the same time every day and wake up around the same time every day. It also helps to um, make sure that you're getting enough exposure to sunlight and that you're getting physical activity every day. That will also help your sleep at night. So here are some things for older adults to keep in mind. So as we age, sleep does change. Sleep becomes less deep and we tend to wake up more throughout the night. Maybe we have to go to the bathroom more often. That's common. And sleep also becomes more vulnerable to disturbances. So maybe earlier in our life, we might have been able to sleep through temperature changes or discomfort or pain or um, stress. As we get older, we might struggle with um, sleep if we're experiencing those things. That's more common. We might have more pain. We, we might be taking medications that interrupt our sleep or medications that make us sleepy during the day so then we're less sleepy at night. So I want to say, since we're talking about that, that excessive daytime sleepiness is not a normal part of aging. And so if you're noticing this in yourself and you're an older adult or any age for that matter, or you're noticing this in an older loved one, it's really important to get to the doctor and get that checked out. What could be causing that excessive daytime sleepiness? And here's the good news. This is the, the news that I really want you to hear that we can do a lot to improve the sleep of older adults and older adults can make changes that will improve their sleep as well. Sleep disorders are highly, highly treatable in older adults. There is a common misconception out there about older adults that with age comes depression, with age comes problems that can't be treated, with age, of course, your sleep is gonna be bad and you just have to deal with it. So that is all inaccurate. Depression is highly treatable in older adults and insomnia is also highly treatable in older adults. And so, and, and even without medications. So the frontline treatment, the best place to start for insomnia with older adults is with a cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. It's highly effective in treating sleep disorders like insomnia with older adults. So I would love to hear how your sleep is going let me know. I personally could do a better job with the sleep category. I don't always get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. My sleep is often disturbed by kids or sometimes I'm up working late at night. Sometimes I wake up early to work. I, um, I, this is an area where I could improve upon myself, but I would love to hear from you. Comment below and let me know how sleep is going for you. All right. Talk to you soon. See you tomorrow for another brain health tip. Mm.